Hey everybody, this is Lee Griffin, and welcome to this episode of the Interformative Talk Show. I'm wearing my Michigan hat because uh, well, I'm a big Michigan fan, and they got a big game with the Ohio State Buckeyes coming up this Saturday, and the Buckeyes are going down. Go blue. <laughs> hey, in this uh, episode, I want to talk to you about what you can do. I don't want to talk about what you can't do. Let's talk about what you can do. I'm going to share some practical things with you that you need to do. If you're serious about the entertainment industry, this is primarily about your music, okay? Uh, but it's pretty much a cross reference. If you're going to, uh, if you're writing a book, all right, you need to do some of these things, and the same principles will work for you. Number one, you have to be willing to invest in yourself. You may not have a lot of money. But to share with you these foundational principles, you can do this, uh, you know, by setting aside a decent budget a month. You know, I mean, to be honest, you know, a lot of us spend a lot of money uh, in fast foods and junk and et cetera, stuff like that, going out. Hey, and that's good. That's fine. But you got to make a decision. What do you want the most? OK, so you're going to have to put some money aside and invest into you. And just stop looking for record companies to come along. And to be honest, record companies don't do this anymore. Um, they are not just looking for artists uh, <clears throat> just by night to discover them. Uh, when you talk about all of the reality, reality um, song contest shows that are on now, it makes it very easy because these artists, even several of them who don't win, get deals because they have such a following. Okay, so. Uh, they want you to already kind of be uh, successful, have everything almost in place and just need them to come along and just add a little bit of effort. OK, because they don't have the bank rolls that they used to have either. All right. So you can do a lot of these things. So let's talk about I want to talk in this episode about copywriting. OK, I want to talk about recording your music. OK, and number three, I want to talk about manufacturing once you're done with recording. And then we want to talk about the last thing is promotion or radio play. OK, the things that you can do all right, all by yourself. Yeah, most of these are the big artists. They have thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars for marketing and promotions. But there are a lot of big uh, vehicles online and available to independent artists today. And many times you just don't know they're there. But you can Google again. Uh, it's the best thing and easiest thing to do is just type in a question into Google or whatever search engine you use. I just particularly use it Google, uh, and the answer will come back to you. Okay. Now, number one, you need to copyright your music, or your material. Okay. If you are a songwriter, do not give your songs to some, to people, give them away, um, and you, if you haven't copywritten it. Okay. Um, I've met a lot of people. Uh, teenagers, you know, and grown-ups who wanted to give me their music and say if I could use it. Okay, first question I ask them is, do, is it copywritten? And then they get this blank stare in the face like, oh, what's that? Well, it's something, it is your legal documentation that says I own this. It's your ownership. Okay, so that means if somebody tries to steal it from you, then you can go to court and prove that I own this. All right, and if someone does steal it and make a lot of money, you can present the paperwork and say I own this and then they owe you that money okay so it's very simple what you do you all you got to do is type in a Google go to the Library of Congress or type in a question how can I uh, copyright my song okay the Library of Congress website will come up they will give you an opportunity to download some forms or you can do it electronically all right it costs thirty five dollars electronically to do it per song that is just the lyrics okay so you can do that online pay on a credit card uh, and it's denoted the very day they receive it or again if you can send you can also send it in the mail and it, uh, basically download the paperwork fill out the application and send a $65 money order or check along with your song uh, lyrics if you don't send the money they act as though they did not receive it or they will return it okay so that's only $65 to protect your money I mean, and your future money. I mean, basically, that's what we're talking about because you believe it's worth it and it could be a hit. You know? So you should protect it. It comes from your creativity. It's yours. You do what's right to own it. That is. And then what happens several months down the road, it may take seven, eight months, but you will receive a certificate from the 
uh, basically from the government, the Library of Congress, saying that John Doe is the owner of blah, blah, blah song. That is your ownership, and your, it basically protects you protects you from anyone stealing it. Um, hey, and just to be honest, that's the world we live in. Uh, if not everybody's willing to work um, for what they earn, you know, they'll rather just take yours and um, and claim it's their their own. Uh, then uh, it basically, and I was gonna, and let me add this: if you created the music, then you also do the same thing. You can't um, electronically uh, apply. You would have to download the paperwork, send in the sixty-five dollars, and you also need to include that is if you created the music for the song. You also need to uh, include a recording of that music to send along with the lyrics. Okay, that's number one. Protect what is yours. Copyright. Okay. Do not believe the myth that if you write down some words and mail them back to yourself, it's safe. All that proves is that you mailed yourself something or you got something in the mail. Right. That will not stand up in the court of law. All right. Moving on to number two. Let's talk about recording. Now in this day and age, I know everybody, you know, your friend, boo boo, baby, all of them got a studio, all right, and they're trying to get you down there, you know, because be honest, most people they created a studio so they can make some money. Now, if they have a good quality, they have the good stuff, and I'm not saying that they have all the professional, the latest of everything, okay, um, <clears throat> that's acceptable, uh, but if they are you recording and it sounds like you know um, you at the zoo or you know you sound basically like somebody that just having a bad day <laughs> with their voice you don't want to be sending that to nobody uh, at the radio station you don't want anybody to be buying that okay you have to question yourself uh, is this something that I would buy um, Barry Gordy, years ago, when he had Motown, many times when he had a new song, what he would do is bring in some his friends, etc., and play the song and ask them would they rather buy that or a hamburger, okay? So you don't be afraid to receive criticism, but the first thing we have to do is get a good product, all right? And the first part of that, if you've got a great creative uh, piece that's been written, or even someone else, someone else wrote it, okay, for you. Uh, you want to make sure that you do it justice by recording it in a good uh, quality studio. Now, there are plenty of professional studios uh, generally <coughs> in every major city, um, and it can get very competitive because everybody wants uh, the money. So what you do is you do your homework. You look in the yellow pages or you get online, you, t you basically Google studios in your, you know, your city. Uh, then you get on the phone and you start calling them and you start asking you ask them what does a session cost you know basically they charge you they charge for hour per hour uh you can get it 65 75 some are 85 but you can be able to uh evaluate okay what who has the best deal um and then also you can say hey is it okay if i come by and look at your studio go by and look at it you know they have them show you walk you around and then you know there many of them have um, you know, uh, records, gold records, and um, you know, uh, platinum records hanging on the wall from some of the professional artists who have recorded there, which looks good on your resume if your album is recorded there. So, uh, and you'll find a lot of them uh, will be reasonable again in this day and age because they're having to compete with smaller studios. So many of them have very reasonable um, fees and price and costs. So once you find get a studio, make sure that once you're ready, that you're ready and you're gonna go in there and work. Okay, don't bring anybody who's gonna be playing around, fooling around, and mess around, blowing your time. Okay, you've called and we're talking about doing a single. Okay, don't don't bite off the whole elephant at once and talking about well I want to do a whole album. How much it's gonna cost? Nobody really knows that. Okay, because when you get in there, you know it doesn't always go as smoothly as you want it to go. Always rehearse before you get into the studio with your musicians. If you're going to do live music, etc., or if you're laying down a track, it's still there should be rehearsal so you can get in there and at least you've done all you can do. All right, so you're not paying for an extra amount of time. If you don't have the budget, again, uh, at least do the homework, 
then you know what's required, then you set yourself a, a plan in action to start saving money uh, every month for your recording. All right. So, all right, let's say we got the music done, first single. Now what do I do? How do I get it um, presented in a way where I can sell it? Okay, I want to make some money. So the first thing we want to do, you got to package it, all right? You, you, there's two things you want to do. You want to package it as well as you want to get it on, uh, get it available digitally, okay? So make it, make it available on iTunes. There are a couple things you can do. Now, and I've used these places, um, um, Disc Makers, it's spelled D-I-S-C Makers. They are one of the biggest um, manufacturers in the, in the company, I mean, sorry, in the country, who will give you, they have many, many options, one of a website, uh, you can order as many as a, a hundred up to a thousand uh, copies of your CD, all right, they'll um, give you artwork, help you to create the artwork, they'll do it, but they'll help you design it, and they'll, uh, once you pick out a design online, etc., uh, they'll send you the proofs for you to, I mean, you're very involved in the creative process. They give you a presentation and packaging that makes you competitive, that your Walmarts, that your uh, uh, Best Buys, all of them will accept this, okay? So you want to make sure that it is professionally done. Disc makers can do that for you, and it's not, again, it's not real expensive, all right? So... Um, also, yeah, you can buy a, um, a label printing machine. Uh, this makers provides that as well. So that, I mean, they have the full jewel case. Um, they also have the sleeves. They're a little less expensive. So, again, we're talking about image because if you're going to be selling this, you want to be able to say, hey, I'm a professional. I didn't do this in my basement. So, because then you might just get your... Uh, mother and father or sisters and brothers are buy it and not somebody on the street okay so you want to do that all right this makers then but the easiest thing that you can do once it's been mastered and I just say okay the process is that you recorded it they mixed it and they mastered it all right the difference in the mixed and mastered CD tape or song if you don't get it mastered and you ever get it on regular radio FM radio it will sound like crap because it hasn't been mastered all right um, so here's what you do to get it on iTunes. There is a company called Songcast, all one word, like song and then cast, C-O-N-G-C-A-S-T dot com. Okay. This is a company that I've used as well. And I'm just giving this, there's more out there, but I'm giving you a few that are good and uh, you're able to access. All right. You go and you create an account. Uh, it only costs 10 bucks to create an account. Okay, then you upload your MP3 of your song. Okay, um, it only costs eight dollars to upload a song. It usually take about a week to ten days, maybe two weeks for it to go live. They put it on Amazon.com as a download for MP3, and Amazon is the number one seller of music on the, online. Okay, Walmart is the actual biggest music seller physical location. But Amazon is the biggest online. Okay, so they put your music uh, online at Amazon.com and they put your music on iTunes. Okay, so and you have an account open. They uh, any sales they download that money. I mean, uh, it's like you get basically they get a percentage, but uh, it's fair. Um, it goes right into your account. Okay, so um, you need to do that. Uh, you know, a lot of people buy music online okay you don't need to be a big record label to do that you are your own label right now you're independent okay so uh, the first thing you can do if you don't have the money to make you any copies like to do for, to pass out for promotion or when you're in a live performance you have some music to sell afterwards um, you know because a lot of and I'm kind of getting ahead of myself but a lot of times in, in, in uh, line a connection with promotions you can perform and you try to you know get on a program with some bigger artists uh, and basically maybe you don't get paid all right as long as you agree and you have to be careful with that when you start agreeing to sing everywhere uh, for free okay so be careful because once you create that uh, reputation about yourself even when you get a little bigger and you're getting paid other people 
won't want to pay you because they say, oh man, you used to always blah, blah, blah. You know, you used to always do it for free. Well, don't let people hold you in that box. They say, okay, well, that was then, this is now. So and don't be afraid to say no if they're not willing to respect your gift and your professionalism. Okay. So, but in the beginning, when you do, do some promotion, you have to evaluate that. It's a big program with a lot of national artists, et cetera, bigger name people. A lot of folks are going to be there. Um, and they can say, hey, you know, I'll, I would love to do that as long as I can set up a table and sell my product. Okay. And um, that's great. So you get the exposure and hopefully you can sell some CDs, but you got to be able to have it in a pre uh, professional presentation, uh, uh, professionally um, packaged. OK, so get it on iTunes. That's the first thing you can do. The relative only cost you twenty dollars. That's it. As long as you got the single, it's professionally done and it's on the MP3. You go to Songcast, create your own account, upload that and you're instantly on uh, Amazon, not instantly, but in a couple weeks you'll be on uh, Amazon and on YouTube, uh, iTunes. And they also have a, a radio station as well, uh, connection with Songcast, who um, will basically, uh, you can put your music there and play, you know, it plays around the world. And uh, so you never know, it only takes one right person to hear your music. So everything that is um, available to you and that's not really expensive, take advantage of it. Uh, and in connection with disc makers, they also have a sound lab. So, for instance, say that you got your your music recorded, but it's not a master. They can master it for you at cost. Okay, you will have to pay them to do that. Um, they also have their own distribution called CD Baby. Okay, it's an online store that makes your music available there online as well. But uh, you can also set up a, um, your own account on Amazon as well. Uh, it's called Amazon Advantage. Okay, so you can set up your own store there. But this is what you need to know as well. If you're going to if you're going to be on Amazon with a CD, actual physical CD, whether it's in a jewel case or whether it is uh, in a sleeve, you need a UPC code. CD Baby will provide that for you. That's again uh, why I'm suggesting them. If you're going to go into Walmart or Best Buy, you need a UPC code. Okay, so go for uh, this Bakers is a wonderful um, company. So we talked about recording, uh, we talked about copywriting, protecting your music first, creative process, and we talked about recording, and we talked about packaging, packaging it, making sure that it's professional looking, okay, good to look at, all right, something that you know that you can say, hey, um, mine looks just as good as his other A-list artist, okay, so, um, so we talked about that, now let's talk about promotions, okay, um, and some of this is promotion because when you talk about iTunes, then you can start talking about it's on iTunes. Um, in fact, Songcast makes it available on your account where you can, you should have a Facebook page um, and Twitter. Listen, let me just say this. If you're going to be on social network, um, it's best to be on one that you're going to work versus several of them that you barely give any attention to. Okay. Um, never never ever confuse um, being busy for production okay just because you got all these things going and you, your pen is right don't mean that you're saying anything okay your mouth is moving you ain't saying anything alright so um, promotion is important so Songcast has uh, the capability for you to basically upload your uh, song basically straight from Songcast the store to your Facebook page because this is what we're talking about you may not be able to make a living yet but you know when you're investing money it's good to be able to see some of that money come back and that's what it's about you want to make money right okay so if you don't have a website yet which even that's not very hard to do right now either um, there's a, there are a lot of free not necessarily free they are free websites free website building um, companies out there well, you can even build them yourself if you are, um, uh, you know, one of those people who like technology and pick up things and learn easy. You can build a website yourself. It's just a matter of uploading photos and images, and etc. And um, you know, it doesn't have to be all flash drive and you know, flash and you know, all this sophisticated stuff. But it's plain, clean, and simple where people can come to it and see you. Okay. 
um, <clears throat> and you can upload a PayPal account. Okay, you want to be make it convenient for, for you to get the money. Okay, that's what it's about. I'm um, sure you can have a PO box or um, somewhere people, you know, that's something else. I'll set up a PO box. Never use your home address as your business. Okay, well, you ask people to write you or send you money. You know, if you do have a website where you want people to order your stuff through the mail. So we live in a world of convenience and people are more apt to buy online um, than they are to send you a check in the mail. Now, people still do that, okay? But you want to, in this uh, time and age of technology, you want to be able to provide that resource as well and that uh, access for your customers. And you can do that, okay? It's going to take effort. But this thing that you need to understand marketing or whatever you do, uh, you have to have some tenacity and you got to have not just consistency or okay, being consistent, which means to be steadfast and continue. You got to be persistent, which means to continue to be steadfast in the face of adversity, all right? A lot of people want to say, no, I don't like this. Why would you do it like that? Oh, you sound like so-and-so. And listen, do not. It's okay to, to allow other artists or people to influence you, but don't be a cheap carbon copy of other people. Be the tremendous, unique original that you can be, okay? And we talked about it before. Originality is important. So be who you are. Be you, okay? So don't be afraid to do that and stay in it. And it's called repetition. When you go to the gym, I go to the gym all the time. I remember years ago when I first tried to bench press 125 pounds and I struggled big time. Because another guy was doing it. I'm like, oh my God, I got up under the weight and it almost fell on me. Well, now, you know, I can bench press it very easily, but it came through repetition, um, you know, and being steadfast, continuously going after it, doing it. So don't get discouraged. And if you do, hey, it's okay, shake it off, get back up and keep trying. All right, you're not going to, everybody's not going to love your music. Everybody's not going to love you, not going to love your voice. Everybody's not going to compliment you. You're not going to own every relationship. But you will own some and you will own the right ones if you stay consistent. You'll get a following if you're good at what you do. Now, I'm talking to people who are gifted and talented and, and are in their lane. So if you're not a singer, don't be trying to sing. All right, so I'm just being honest with you. Because um, you'll fail at it. You always you will fail at something that you're not gifted to do um, when you're trying to do something that you shouldn't be doing. Stay in your lane, okay? Um, now, going back to the promotions part, okay? So, Facebook is important, or Twitter, whatever your tool, whatever it is you're good at, do that, all right? So, getting on it every day, talking about it, um, uploading it, all right? So, then let me talk about radio. Because this is a part of promotions. There is a company called Django. It's J A N G O. It's an internet radio station. It will cost you about $30 a month, okay, um, to invest, but it reaches the world. And it is very, a very, very good independent radio station, uh, internet radio station. Uh, that I recommend. There, there's more of them out there, but I'm just I'm just giving you some that I know that are proven and work pretty good. Okay, they're not gonna pay you to pay you to play your music, but again, this is about building a name brand, building yourself. Okay, so um, all these things I'm talking about to you, if you could set aside a hundred dollars a month of investment into yourself and as you grow your business, okay, and maybe you can afford more. That's fine. Um, maybe you can't afford a major publicist right now, or the thousands of dollars that you know let other labels, etc., made major labels put behind the artists. But you can create a high visibility for yourself as an artist, you know, as an author, or whatever it is. Um, they have many things just like these for our authors. Okay, Facebook is universal for everybody. <clears throat> um, and again, you want to make sure you got uh, creating an app. Uh, a, uh, a platform where you can get paid, okay? Uh, you want to get money. So um, hopefully these are just some basic things that I know you can do, okay, that will help you grow your brand. Um, I mean, I don't care how long you've been singing, a lot of these things should be in place already. And then here, the thing is that you own, you have ownership of. Nobody's in the middle of your money and you. 
that's the other thing we're talking about where people are like well okay no money got made blah 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 no you know for yourself because you set it up uh, the last thing I'm going to leave you with is once you get some actual physical copies um, there are several uh, well they're not as plenteous as they used to be but in a lot of cities there's still some independent music stores that are all um, independently owned you go in there okay when you get your um, your, your product also get you some postcards made this is also a great way to promote yourself uh, there's printers everywhere and get your thousand start out with a thousand or so for a hundred dollars um, you put your image on there your CD uh, and cover you know your contact information Facebook your Twitter whatever you know um, and <clears throat> you put it in people's hands uh, you pass them out and uh, you're making your name branding yourself okay you're putting yourself out there people not everybody may go but you will get some people who are going to go visit your website or if, you know who will buy your music uh, but anyway, going back to some of these independent record stores, you go in there and you talk to them and you say, hey, I'm a new artist. Give them a free copy. OK, it's not going to hurt you. I mean, this maker literally charges you a dollar for a copy. OK, so give them that's investment. And if it's good, hey, they'll say, hey, yeah, asking you put your music in on consignment. That means that if anything sells, you of course you get an understanding how much the owner is going to get and how much you're going to get up front. All right, you may, you may need to get a document stating that. In fact, I suggested that you have a document created. Uh, doesn't have to be real sophisticated, but just states your product, your name, the ownership name, etc., the date, um, and the amount agreed upon that it will be sold at, and the amount percentage that you get and they get. Okay, so and that means hey, it's a win-win situation here. He's trying to help a she's trying to help a local artist who's talented. Blah blah blah. And, <clears throat> and here you are, you've got music in there uh, in a public place that sees a lot of traffic. People are seeing your face, seeing your name. If they buy, then you make money. If they don't, he doesn't lose. You don't lose anything any, any either. You gain some, some uh, face time. So um, do that as well, okay? Um, and then, uh, you know, smile, have a good attitude. Even when people tell you no, it's okay. Um, Today, you can't just go into a radio station and give people your music, uh, the DJ, and expect it to, to get played or the, um, the program director. Um, but it's not a bad thing to try to meet the program director and introduce yourself and give them your music. Uh, it may take a while for them to listen to it if they listen to it at all. But I'm not discouraging it. Try it. Because if you get to know them, perhaps when they have a big uh, local showcase or major artist, um, maybe they'll allow you know, a local artist to open it up, then it could be you. All right. So listen, all things are possible when you believe and you have a hard work ethic and you have good quality. So, folks, I hope that this has helped you. I'm Lee Griffin. This is the Interformative Talk Show. And until I see you next time, believe in you.